49% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. And the three reasons we're gonna talk about in this video are major contributors to that problem. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the three things that you should never do with your money. But first, let's go over some facts. Unfortunately, like I said, 49% of Americans are currently living paycheck to paycheck. And what that means is every dollar that comes in goes out to someone else. Bills to pay, food to buy, gas to go in your car, whatever. But everything you're getting is going out to someone else. You're living paycheck to paycheck. And in many cases, that means you have a net worth of zero. If everything you have coming in goes out to someone else, you don't really have any money. And in many cases, a lot of people are in debt as well. They have credit card debt, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of debt, uh, and that's a very unfortunate situation. And if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you might be able to get by for a while, but if a major expense ever comes up, um, you're gonna be in big trouble. So in this video, there, there's many reasons why someone could be living paycheck to paycheck. That could be like a several hour long video. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna talk about the three things I believe you should never ever do so you don't end up like this, or in many cases, if you're already in this case, to get out of this situation. The first thing that you should never do with your money is gamble with it. And unfortunately, a lot of people do this because a lot of people want to be wealthy and they think that this is the only way that they're ever going to be incredibly wealthy. And it, it's great to think about the things that you could buy, all the Lambos, all the houses, you could make your own $200 million movie with kind of money like that. Uh, but gambling is just something that no one should do. Now recently there was a $350 million jackpot and a lot of my friends were asking, hey, you wanna get in on this pool? Uh, they were all pooling their money to buy a bunch of tickets and if they won, then they'd all split the prize. And I said, heck no, I, I don't want anything to do with that because it's just stupid. You, you have like no chance of ever winning the lotto. In fact, for this specific lotto, you had a one in 292 million odd chance of winning that lotto. So it's just, it's not going to happen. And unfortunately, a lot of people like to do this. Now I put up on the board some other things that you have a greater chance of doing. Uh, so let's go over some of these. So this is a little lightning symbol. I know it's not the greatest, but uh, you have a one in 700,000 percent chance, one in 700,000 chance of getting hit by lightning, okay? Much greater chance of being hit by lightning than winning this lotto chance. This right here is a plane. I know, excellent drawing. You don't have to comment about it below. Uh, you have a one in 11 million chance of being in a plane crash. One in 11 million or one in 202 million of winning the $350 million lotto. And then this is a little shark fin and you have one in 3.7 million chance of being bitten and killed by a shark. So you have a much greater chance of any one of these over actually winning a $350 million uh, lotto jackpot. Now, I personally don't know anyone that have had any of these happen to them, and I definitely don't know anyone that has win, that has ever won the lotto. So trying to win the lotto is definitely something you should not be wasting your money on. And unfortunately, the lotto really is, it's a tax on poor people. They do this because they, you know, they want to give the idea of people that, you know, someday, you could win this and it's just not gonna happen. One in 292 million. You're not gonna win this, it's just taxing people who already don't have any money. So the second thing you should not be spending your money on is overpriced coffee. And unfortunately, you know, this millennium that has gone absolutely crazy. So back when I was a kid, my parents bought Folgers. Uh, for all the millennials who don't know what that is, it's a little can of coffee you can get at the uh, supermarket. You take it home, you make it yourself. And it was much, much cheaper um, than what we have today. Now we have these overpriced seven, eight, nine dollar coffees from Starbucks, from Coffee Bean, wherever you like to go to get your coffee. If you you are going to a coffee shop every day and buying an $8 coffee, that is absolutely insane. Please do not do that. So the average person spends $1,200 a year on coffee, just coffee. These aren't meals, these are just coffees. They're spending $1,200 a year on coffee and 41% spend more money on coffee than they do retirement. They're spending more money just to get a little bit of fix of caffeine every day than planning for their future, okay? Please do not do this. Now, if you don't know who Graham Steffens is, he's one of the largest financial channels on YouTube. I'll have a link to his video where he talks about how he makes 20 cent coffee from home. He makes coffee 
from his house. It takes 20 cents. That's how much it costs per day to make his coffee. Again, I'll have a link below if you want to check out that video. That's what you should be doing. Not spending eight, nine, ten dollars per day at Starbucks. That's absolutely insane. So if you were to do this, make your 20 cent coffee every single day for 365 days, that would come out to a total of $73 uh, if you had one coffee every single day compared to the $1,200 a year that people are paying for Starbucks coffee. That's 16, 1,643% more for the Starbucks coffee as opposed to the 20 cent coffee uh, that you're making at home. If you made the coffee at home, you'd be saving over $1,000 a year. Please don't buy this incredibly expensive coffee. And the third thing that you should not be spending money on is an expensive car. And unfortunately, at least here in America, uh, people are very obsessed with cars. They really like cars and they like to buy expensive cars to show other people how well off they are. And most of the time, the other people don't actually care about those people to begin with. Um, and they just kind of use it as a status symbol. And it's very unfortunate that our culture has come to this. And I unfortunately have fallen into this mistake as well. Right after college, I had my first job, I was making some decent money, and I decided I wanted to buy a Ford Mustang. I'd always wanted those, so I bought one of those. Um, it wasn't even new, it was used, but it was still more money than I actually had. And then I ended up spending uh, about $12,000 more than I should have just on all the mechanic costs related to that car. Um, it, it was just a complete nightmare. So please do not expend money on expensive cars. And I, I wanna go over something. The average cost, the average monthly payment on cars right now in America is $506. Now that $506 could be used very in very other ways that could make you a lot of money. You could be putting it in the stock market, you could be saving it, you could be using it to pay off, pay off any bills that you already have. Uh, there's just no reason for you to be spending $506 a month uh, on a car payment. So let's go over this example right here. Two people, one person buys a car outright with money he has, so he has no car payment, zero cost per month for his car payment. The second person, he bought a nice luxury car because he wanted all the status symbols, he wanted the girls to love him, I wanted his boss to be impressed, whatever. So he's paying $500 a month for his luxury car. Now both of these cars get these people from point A to point B. This one doesn't get it, you know, it's not gonna get this person to point B and this person isn't gonna get there because they paid for their, their cheaper car and put all the money down on it. It's not like that. Both cars will get you from point A to point B. It's completely irrelevant how much money you're actually spending on it. You just need it. It's a mode of transportation. That's all it is. Please do not look at cars as a status symbol. That's why you end up spending way too much money for something you don't really need. So there you go, those are the three things you should not be spending your money on, and unfortunately, a lot of people are spending money on stuff like this. We're spending money we don't have to impress people that don't actually like us. So please do not do this. You know, Use your funds to improve your life, invest in yourself over time, over just trying to make yourself look better to other people or get your daily fix of caffeine. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure and subscribe and like this video so more people can see it and we will have more great videos coming up soon. Thanks everyone and have a great day.